Hello again, it's Niels Han Dynasty. Uh, this video is going to be a lot different than most videos. I'm going to give a little bit, change screen and, and give a little more background to the story. Because location is important. Ask any realtor. Location, location, location. Okay, check this out. This is, uh, I've, well, hold on. Let me back up a little bit here. Uh, I've stated several times that Egypt wants to attack Ethiopia because of the GERD dam. It's a dam they're building to prevent them from having drought again, which we, anyone who knows history knows they had a real bad one. And uh, anyhow, Egypt wants to attack them and blow up the GERD dam. And Sudan and Egypt just did war games and are cooperating. So here is what's happening in South Sudan along the Ethiopian border. where violent anti-military protests rocked the capital city of Khartoum on Sunday of a rising violence in the country's Blue Nile state that has already claimed over 60 lives. Security forces fired tear gas at protesters to disperse the crowd from Gathari. They also erected roadblocks on bridges crossing the Nile River linking Khartoum to its suburbs. Protesters have accused the military rule for the surge in tribal clashes in the country. The capital has been the scene of near weekly protests since Army Chief General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan launched a power grab in October last year that derailed a transition to civilian rule. The military coup has worsened the long-running economic crisis in the country that has triggered intercommunal unrest in remote parts of the country. The latest flashpoint is now the southern state of Blue Nile, where over 60 people have died and another 100 have been injured in tribal clashes. That's okay, this is where i got to stop you and fill you in. Okay, if you look, of course, this you can't see. This is Egypt up here, Sudan, South Sudan, Ethiopia. This is where the conflict is taking place. It is just coinkadinky that it's taking place there because right there, that conflict's going on right there. Right there is the Gerd River Dam. Let me see if I can't get you in a little closer here. Okay, now we're going to go back and we're going to see the anti-military protest. See that long leg coming down? It's above that long leg before this thing comes out right there, whatever it's called. I don't care. I'm just showing y'all. All right, well, that's the long leg. That thing comes down. That's there. Okay, well, uh, the clash is happening in this area and the Blue River Nile is dam is right here about 15 kilometers away from all of that problem area that they're having right here. But anyhow, uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to make a prediction because I'm, I'm only 53, 54, and I've, I haven't been on this world long, but I've, I've seen trends. And what I see right here, just from this first minute of this video on Sudan's issues, knowing that Ethiopia is building a dam 15 kilometers away from those issues and Egypt wants to attack them, the politically sound thing to do for Egypt would be to stir problems down there, let it spill over and have it cause a conflict where they have to come and blow up the dam as a consequence of the actions of stopping the conflict or something along those lines. Uh, anyhow, that's that's a prediction from Niels Han Dynasty, because here at the Han Dynasty, we remember history. We know how conflicts get started, and we can put one and two together to come up with three, not 12. Common Core math, bullcrap. All right, you guys have fun.